Thank you, Chairwoman Granger. I rise to engage you in a colloquy on the importance of the Butler County Workforce to the Federal Background Investigation Operations. The National Background Investigations Bureau has approximately 1,500 employees and contractors in Boyers, Pennsylvania, which is in my district, who handle the intake and processing of federal background investigations. As you know, the NDAA last year split the NBIB between the Office of Personnel Management and the Department of Defense. This misguided move would have disrupted operations and negatively affected the critical workforce. I applaud the Trump administration for announcing last week that it will be keeping the NBIB intact and shifting it entirely to the DOD. This action will keep all background investigations under the same agency and will retain economies of scale to efficiently perform these critical operations. On Monday, I met with DOD officials responsible for the transfer. They assured me that there are no plans to move any jobs outside Butler County. This is good news for my constituents, but more communication is necessary. These 1,500 people perform an incredible service to our nation, and these jobs are critical to Butler County. This workforce has the expertise and experience to perform this sensitive work that keeps our nation secure. Any efforts to reduce the backlog and background investigations must utilize this talented and hardworking workforce. Chairman Granger, would you agree that the NBIB workforce in Butler County is integral to our country's background checks operations? Reclaiming my time, I appreciate the gentleman's commitment to this matter. We respect the dedication and accomplishments of all National Background Investigations Bureau workers, including the hard work of the staff in Butler County, Pennsylvania. There's currently a backlog of over 700,000 pending security clearance cases. Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson told my subcommittee that the Air Force has 79,000 people still waiting for security clearances, and that number has almost doubled in the last 18 months. We want to work with your office to make sure we address that as much as possible, and I look forward to your continuing partnership in this matter, and I yield to the gentleman. I thank the gentlelady for your dedication to this issue. It's important to not lose sight of the significance of this workforce to my district, and I yield. Mr. Chairman, I yield back the balance of my time. General, I yield.